the uh, the most appealing zombie to me yet. So I have got a few more pre-orders on their way, but uh, I seen this <clears throat> this one on uh, MRA's video, which you did the Tallahassee zombie uh, killer, and uh, also showed the uh, the dead character. I think is a Comic Con exclusive, <clears throat> and uh, this biohazard subject one five one six five six six. <clears throat> it's simply labelled, I think, the butcher. Now this is quite a presentable. Plain box in the back, a little bit of blood splatter, and uh, pretty much the same on the sleeve that went on to the box. Okay, we're going to get this baby out and uh, show you guys, you the zombie lovers, uh, what uh, a good zombie figure really is. I actually want to um, make a few customs of these later on down the track because I, I'm starting to find the, the zombies quite appealing and there is no limit to where you will what you make uh, I have got some plans and some ideas uh, one is a female figurine that I've got at the back there I'm planning on tatting, tattooing her out and making her a zombie killer <clears throat> but then also I will be doing some normal zombies but haven't made plans as yet. I, just, I have to get my customs out the way uh, that I, I've made plans to do. But uh, you know, there's no rush and uh, catch up with some of my bill paying too. That's a good idea because I seem to be ringing up the costs. <laughs> I just don't know where to stop them. I'm, I'm terrible. I'm, uh, I need a good whipping. That's what I need, a good whipping. I would probably enjoy that as well. <laughs> okay, we'll get this baby out the box and uh, hope that my uh, voice is not annoying you too much. Okay, we have a lovely uh, <clears throat> severed uh, pig's head. Um, it's, it's quite eerie in some ways. It's, uh, I'll see, get the light on there. Quite eerie in some ways and uh, the way it shows you all the, the bone and the flesh. Probably could do a bit more blood on it, blood in there, a richening of blood. But uh, yeah, it looks quite horrible. But that's uh, one of the accessories that comes with it. <clears throat> and uh, there's not a lot to these, these figures, they are quite cheap. What I do, there's got a few wires on it. So I'm going to quickly unwire it and uh, show you the other accessories that come with it and just give you a quick show of, of this terrible butcher zombie um, that Sideshow has come out with. Okay, oh, 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 I love it. Looks really good. My first zombie too, so I'm really happy. Be back with you some tech guys. Okay guys, <clears throat> here you have it. <clears throat> uh, the butcher. It comes with this little butcher's sign I assume that uh, would have been on the wall with splattered blood on it uh, the, the head is quite detailed he's got he's pretty much got almost white eyes with sort of a very faint uh, blurry pupils that rolling at the top of his head he's got pits all over his face He's very ugly. You can see his rotten teeth and uh, oh, he's just a, an evil looking zombie zombie head as far as I'm concerned. <clears throat> it comes with uh, an under shirt, uh, a full overall set that is also covered in blood, soaked, absolutely soaked in blood from all his hacking that he's done to humans the uh, non-dead I assume he's got some nasty chops it looks like he's been chopping his own bloody arm <laughs> he's lost he's completely gone 
Yeah, he's got chops everywhere. <laughs> anyway, maybe he's trying to kill himself when he knew he was contaminated as a zombie, you know. He's trying to kill it to himself and he didn't quite get there. Um, yeah, he's got the uh, butcher's uh, cape or, or, yeah, whatever you want to call it. Um, butcher's robe or, yeah, and uh, yeah, nice looking cleave, cleaver. Meat cleaver with blood stains on it. It's quite detailed actually, it's not too bad. Yeah. I actually quite like it. The detail of the arms is goes right up to the elbow. And he's got holes everywhere. He's, he's yeah, right up to the elbow. Very articulated. You can bend him in weird and wonderful uh, ways. But. Uh, very articulated, um, even at the ankles, even though he's got high boots, you can still, uh, let's see if I can show you. Yeah, see, so you can turn his ankles in like that, because the, <coughs> the peg is at the top of the boot, which is quite clever, I reckon. If you want to look like, do them in ugly type, you know, distorted feet like that, you know, it looks quite intimidating and, and there's your base. Doesn't say butcher in any way, but you know it's the it's the butcher. They sell it as the butcher. <clears throat> I really, really like it. I mean, I paid a little bit too much for it. I, I should have held back, but as usual, I'm impatient, and when I want something, I go for it, and I don't care about the cost. But I, was, yeah, I'm still happy that I've got it. Just look at that ugly head. Look at that. Steady my hand. I reckon this would have to be one of the um the best best figures as far as the uh, the dead series goes. Uh, he's fully he's padded out. And he's chunky looking. He looks the part. And uh, for all you zombie lovers that haven't got it, <clears throat> go on eBay and get it because it is a, as it is a classic piece. And uh, for my first zombie, I'm really proud of it. Okay, guys, I'm not going to bore you anymore. I've given you a close up of the ugly head and uh, show him what he's got. And uh, even the cows out there, let's put it back over here. Let's see. Uh, okay, get a couple of things with it. Still cheap. Go on eBay, get it, and uh, enjoy it. Let's test this one out. Catch ya.